The City of Wilmington and the County of New Hanover were awarded an experimental license from the FCC to test wireless services using white space spectrum. The white space spectrum is traditional TV bandwidth that's been left over during the transition from analog to digital television. The white spaces has given us greater distance from our point of presence to the device we're trying to connect to. It's also given us propagation through areas that typically aren't well propagated by spectrum trees, foliage, those kinds of things. And also we've seen better coverage from that as a result of the characteristics of the spectrum. It was an honor for us to be able to test that spectrum that was freed up and obviously as the mayor of the city uh, we have seen a tremendous amount of uh, different applications that could be used for this spectrum. We've experimented with some video applications in a park and when we had looked at this in the past in order to do traditional what are called mesh networks would have taken several uh, points of presence along the route, several different pieces of equipment, and we were able to reach this target area with one set of white spaces radios, point to point, and that was through vet, through dense pine trees, those kinds of things. If we have to put up a traffic camera, if we have to put up a camera in, a, in an area that may be a high crime area, being able to install that camera, take it down, the portability of the camera, is very uh, good with this white space technology. Beforehand, if I had to take down a camera, I would have to trench a new line to wherever I was gonna put that new camera, so it costed us several thousand dollars. So by reducing those costs, it makes us more efficient. So how we deliver services is, is very important to our citizens, and how we do that is through technology and innovation. One of the other things that we're doing is water quality monitoring. Uh, we have um, quite a few tidal creeks, and the quality of those has not been good. What we've been doing is reactive monitoring, so we send a person out in a canoe every so often and grab samples and say, oh, over time, here's been the trend. With this technology, we've been able to deploy sensors right into the water and can gather that data in real time to see the indication of the presence of some of the problems we're having and look at trends on a more microcosmic kind of level than something like a monthly monitoring. We had a lot of industries that moved here from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. We've seen a lot of that manufacturing industry now go over to, to China and India. Uh, to low-cost producers of, of, of labor. And so we've had to reinvent ourselves, uh, like a lot of cities have had to do around this country, and, and really start to embrace technology and innovation. The FCC uh, granted New Hanover County an experimental license for the spectrum to sort of prove out the concept of some of the usage for this spectrum and have really looked to us as they've been shaping their rules for how to move forward with what to do with this spectrum. Broadband interconnectivity of course has been very important here and we've we've got it here it's not a problem but when you get into the outlying areas we want those areas to grow also because as they grow we grow and it's good for our overall economy because those people have to come into the cities they buy things they stay here they go to plays they go to shows they eat out so it helps us all out as those areas improve and better themselves so I think it's a it's a very important goal for the entire country to put broadband not only in the cities but all over this country and you know white space technology I think will give us uh, an application to be able to do some of that. This is Guy Daniels for Connected States of America in Wilmington, North Carolina.